Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Arrow Season 2, Episode 13. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. Business or personal, Miss Ratko? Personal. My computer's froze. Can you hold on a sec? I'll be right back. No, I don't think she's that stupid. Who is she? What did they say her name was? I'm having a thought. Like her name sounded almost like somebody else's name. Maybe the guy pronounced it wrong. And it is like this uh, other person, but I thought it was a man. But maybe it was a woman. A few days ago, there was a wire transfer made from Tempest to a numbered account at Starling National Bank. Probably the campaign accountant shutting it down. Or it could be something else. I'll talk to Moira first thing. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Of course. The doctor wants to check your eye. What happened to her eye? Minor subconjunctival hemorrhaging, probably from hitting her head when she lost consciousness. After the exam, we can discharge her. Does she remember seeing Sarah? You feel better, okay? Thank you. What's wrong with her eye? <laughs> Before I passed out, the strangest thing happened. He's, she's, he's not gonna believe her. I, mean, I know I was. I mean, he might, cause he knows Sarah's alive. But she was standing right over me. Is he gonna play it off like she just imagined it, or is he gonna really think she imagined it, or what? It's crazy, right? It's crazy. Do me a favor and dig up a copy of Laurel's blood work from the hospital, please. Sure. What are we looking for? I just want to make sure of something. He saw something in her eye, right? It's real. I think she was Blood. drugged by somebody. I know she's here. She had like she had like these like what looked like golden flecks in her eye. Please don't tell me you got kicked out of college. Oh well, thank you for the vote of confidence. I had a three-day weekend, so I figured I'd drive down and surprise everybody. Well, you just had time to wait. Come here. Mm -hmm. Well, we know where she learned that from. Hello! Did not see that coming. I am Nyssa, daughter of Rachel Gore. Oh, she's the daughter of the guy. Okay. Sarah swore her allegiance to the League of Assassins. It's time for her to return home. I can explain. You don't have to. She's not leaving. You don't trust her. So I looked into it myself because, full disclosure, I, I don't trust you. You paid a substantial sum of money to a doctor, Gill. He was the doctor who did the oh. idea, which didn't make any sense to me. So I went through like a dozen different theories until I remembered your testimony at trial. You had an affair with Malcolm Merlin one year before Thea was born. Merlin is Thea's father. I can see why Walter and Oliver have such a high appraisal of your capabilities. I thought you deserved the chance to tell Oliver yourself. He should hear it from you. I'm not going to tell my son anything, and neither are you. If you won't keep my secret for Oliver's sake, you should keep it for your own. I see the way you look at him. If you tell him this, you will rip his world apart. And a part of him will always blame you. Oh, he'll hate me for sure. Yeah, but if he finds out and knows that she and finds out that she knew about it and didn't say anything, that's just gonna be just as bad. You threaten my girl, bitch. Sorry. Old feelings from Moira is coming out at me right now. I was with you because I loved you. 
liked and loved in the past tense. You can ask him to release me. My father's never released anyone from the League. He released Malcolm Merlin. An action he and the citizens of the city daily regret. Do what you have to. Because they found traces of snake venom in her blood from a Tibetan pit viper. Wait, so Laurel didn't know D? She was poisoned. She was poisoned by Nissa, who did it to draw you back here. And it worked. Can't you just be happy for me? I mean, if you met some amazing guy who wanted to spend the rest of his life with you, I would be so supportive okay, and so well, happy for you. I wasn't trying to be a bitch. <laughs> Title of your autobiography. <laughs> I'm gonna get some sleep. Uh oh. Hey, Gabe. She's a powerful figure in the League, and she poisoned Laurel. She took Mom. Well, to get you to come back to the League. To get me to come back to her. Oh. I thought it would be instructive for you to know what it feels like to suddenly lose someone you love. To have them ripped from your life without warning. You do not want to hurt my mother. You're right. I don't. You have one day, Atea Ralasfer. Make the right choice. You know, you never did tell me how you joined up with the Arrow in the first place. Where'd you two even meet? Vigilante Club. <laughs> <laughs> same old Sarah. Well, not exactly the same. I loved her, Dad. Are you upset? <sighs> Honestly, Sarah, to think what you've been through these past six years, pain, loneliness, I'm just happy to hear you had someone to care for you. They didn't teach you about right crosses and assassin school. What is this? Uh? Tell me where my wife is. <laughs> la ila, ila, la. The hell's he saying? He's praying. <laughs> no, don't you? But don't you? you? Son of a bitch! Oliver, are you ready to introduce your mother? With pride. Now you be giving her the eye. Ooh, I'm really hating her right now. Oh my gosh. Is going on with you, and don't say nothing. no. To say nothing. I've noticed that I talk a lot. It has not escaped my attention. <laughs> but I've noticed that I don't talk a lot about my family. I have noticed that. My mother is. <laughs> she's... she's my mother, and I don't really know what my father is because he abandoned us. I barely remember him, but I do remember how much it hurt when he left. I just the th thought of losing someone that important to me again. Hey, you're not going to lose me. Whatever it is that's bothering you. Is it, is it about your family? About your family. It's about yours. And I will return with you to Nanda Parbat. You're doing the right thing, Sarah. For both of us. Hope she's not planning on killing herself on her grave. Maybe she's planning on killing uh, My mother? her. Of course, that would really piss off that uh, Ra's al Ghul guy, right? <laughs> The Moira Queen that I know is more than a successful did, CEO. Did she actually tell us. him? She is a loving mother who has devoted her life to raising two wonderful children. Just to tell you how 
special she is, I'd like to welcome her son, CEO of Queen Consolidated, Mr. Oliver Queen. I think she could have found a better time to tell him that, like, right before this happened. But if she did tell him, which I think she did, then I'm glad she did. You don't know her like I do. And you don't know what she's capable of when it comes to helping the people of Starling City. Ladies and gentlemen, my mother. I know. All right, son, Cole, but why do we care if Sarah kills some badass assassin who wants to get her and her family? Because, Diggle, if half of the stories that I have heard about Raza al Ghul are true, Sarah kills his daughter, we will all pay. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like... But I don't know if she's planning on killing her. I, I almost think she's planning on killing herself.